Hello everyone and welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to another video. So, it's September now, <laughs> which is arguably to me one of the worst months of the year. Um, I know that might be controversial because some people love the back to school time, but I really hate September. It's like the end of summer and then the start of a new school year, which is always <laughs> really weird. I feel like the start of a new school year is always just kind of kind of draining because you've had summer and now you're all of a sudden back into this routine. This year is especially stressful because I've just gone into my second year of college, which if you're not British, it's basically the last year that I have an education. It's kind of like I'm a senior in high school and then I go off to college, well, university here or whatever I want to do after I finish education. So it means my A-levels are right around the corner. Right now, um, I have a few days off. I went to college on Monday and Tuesday of this week. It's now Thursday and I have I had Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, obviously off. And then I'm back next Monday to college. So I'm taking these days as a time to kind of catch up already. I already have lots of work set and I've literally only been back for two days. So the weather's actually horrible at the moment. Um, it's like thundering and raining and lightning all the time. <laughs> Yesterday I actually tried to film this video, but everything went wrong. But I got stuck in the rain. <laughs> but I got stuck in the rain. Um, I was hanging out with this cat. I know that sounds random, but there's a cat near where I live that always comes and like sits with me. Um, so I was hanging out with this cat, it was really cute. And then it started absolutely chucking it down with rain and I had to run to shelter and then wait to get picked up for like half an hour. So I tried to film a video yesterday and everything went wrong. I went to some charity shops and I couldn't find anything. Um, I was trying to find some things for my room. Because actually the other day when I went to a charity shop, I did find these. I need to show you these. I found these mugs. <laughs> They're so cute. I saw this one and then I realised it was in a set of like loads of mugs and cups and plates and stuff. Um, and I was wondering if I could just buy one. I went up to the guy and I asked if I could just buy one, but it was an uneven set, so I had to buy two. But two, these two together was 75p gonna make my morning coffee or cup of tea in this right now i'm gonna make a little to-do list of what i need to do today and then you guys can just kind of come along with me and hang out <laughs> thank you list everything I need to do today um first one is to clean my room <laughs> have had to wake Michael up because I need to make my bed and I don't think he's happy about it but yeah I've got quite a lot of school work to do um I need to sort out my wardrobe and lots of other things the first thing I actually have to do is go and shower which you can probably see is semi clean. I've had a shower and I'm dressed. This is the outfit. I'm probably gonna change because it's kind of cold. <sighs> but September's really hitting right now. Thank you. 
Hi guys. Um, I'm walking in the field right now. It's been a few days since I filmed the last couple of clips. Um, I've been really busy and didn't get time to finish that video. So I'm finishing it tonight. It's such a beautiful little night. Um, so I'm just on a little stroll. <laughs> I'm in the most weird outfit ever right now. I'm in Crocs and a cardigan and some joggers, but it's a really, really pretty night. But I'm gonna sit down somewhere, have a little conversation because I've just had the realization that I'm moving out of my childhood home in like a year, <laughs> like exactly a year. Um, so I'm gonna discuss my thoughts on that because maybe some of you are going through similar things. It's not happening to me right now, but it's probably happening to some of you right now, um, like moving out of your childhood home. I'm just gonna sit down and waffle for a bit, I guess. No one asked for this, but we'll see. Sorry, I popped inside quickly to put a jumper on, but yeah, I thought I'd talk about like a universal topic that I feel like every single human goes through um, which is growing up and becoming an adult. <laughs> I know right now as it's September lots of people have moved out of their childhood homes and are living on their own for the first time um, and that's going to be me in exactly a year um, and it's suddenly just like really hit me that I'm actually moving out and I'm actually 18 in like seven weeks <laughs> so I'm officially becoming an adult um which both feels literally amazing and really exciting and also terrifying because i actually have to move out and fend for myself but a little fun fact i've actually never ever lived anywhere else than where i do right now um i was born in my house nearly 18 years ago um and we've never moved since so this is where i've grown up and I've never lived anywhere else. I know I don't have to worry about it right now, but next year is going to be a huge, crazy contrast for me when I move out. Um, it's going to be both very exciting and very, very scary. I feel like a lot of people hate the idea of growing up, and I used to. I used to absolutely hate the idea of growing up. I'd say when I was about 15, I was like, I don't want to be any older than this. Like, this is the age I want to be forever. I think as you grow up, you realise things cannot stay the same forever. And it's actually more exciting than anything. Like, I think the idea of being 18 to me now is exciting and the idea of moving out is sad and it's scary but it's also very exciting. It's going to be particularly strange moving out of my house because I've never ever ever experienced living anywhere else. Um, I get homesick even going on holiday for like a week. I just want to come home. It is really weird. Growing up is something that we're all kind of forced to do at a certain age. Like at 17 you kind of got to, you've kind of got to have a rough idea of what you want to do. I still don't know what I want to do next year. I just definitely know I'm moving out. Um, next September. To do what? I don't know. Um, I'm looking around a lot of universities at the moment, which I'm sure a lot of people my age are doing right now. It's just really hit me all of a sudden as I've come out here that I won't live here forever. It's crazy. It is crazy. After 18 years of living here, I'm going to be moved out. <laughs> um, so my dog's escaped. That was so scary. I think another thing that's thrown our generation off of it with growing up is we are literally COVID kids. <laughs> like for me specifically um, and everyone my age, I went into lockdown when I was 15, um, freshly 15 now, like freshly 15 and I've blinked and I'm nearly 18, um, which is, it doesn't feel real. I definitely feel older than I did when I first came out of lockdown because when I first came out of lockdown, I was mentally still 15, like I was mentally still 15. <laughs> there was a lot of growing up that needed to be done um, because I was just locked away for two years, like we all were. I'm sure everyone can relate. We were all just, you know, we didn't have any social interactions. Um, and I know a lot of people had it way worse than me. I think for a long time, my mental age was 15. I've talked to a lot of my friends about this as well and they feel the same. Uh, it was just a huge jump from being a child and then all of a sudden having to grow up. Um, I used to loathe growing up. I used to loathe the thought of ever moving out of where I live now or anything changing at all. But I think with age, you realize things literally can never be the same forever. Like, it'd be boring. It'd be boring if I lived in this house forever and didn't meet anyone else. So we've all got to do it. <laughs> That's my hot take. <laughs> So I'm all in bed. I'm watching Gilmore Girls, <laughs> which it's September now. So I'm literally already on season six. 
literally didn't restart it that long ago and i'm nearly finished <laughs> that is where i'm gonna end today's video it's been absolute shambles this, this video has made no sense but that is actually my outlook on september september makes no sense it's the time of year where it's just like what is going on everyone's confused <laughs> it's not summer anymore it's not october so it's not exactly autumn it's just a bit of a confused month isn't it i'm sorry to all the september lovers out there but yeah um hope you're all having a good day or night or whatever time it is um i hope school's going well for everyone i hope back to school season's okay or whatever you're doing with your life right now um yeah i'll see you in my next video